So I want us to do isometric of engineering graphics and design grade 10. So like I like as I've used to say that my aim is to upload all of them. So I want us to look at task uh, 5.7. I mean 5.6. We are still coming to 5.7. Let us look at 5.6. Task 5.6. So, so of grade 10, grade 10 engineering graphics and design, you, you understand. So let us look at, at the views that were given. So the question said, convert the orthographic projection shown below into an isometric drawing. So we are required to convert these views into an isometric drawings. Make a the lowest point of each drawing do not draw the dimension do not dimension your drawing you understand so this is what you have to do so then we have you have to understand orthographic projection so these are the views are given in orthographic projection so there are three so if they are being arranged like this do you see that the projection symbol we are not given so that is why they had to give us all of them, which there are three in total. So we you we have to analyze them before even start. You understand? So this is going to be my front view. This is going to be my right view. So that one would be my top view. You understand? So my top view, front view, or right view. You understand? So they said let point A to be your lost point and we are going to use a scale of what of one is to one so now let's start keep on closing so now you know your starting point every time when you draw an assembled drawing i mean a a, a what a isonometric drawing your starting point you are advisable to start a little bit down of your drawing sheet a little bit down of your drawing sheet you understand so i'm going to draw a horizontal line and i draw another one perpendicular against it <coughs> and this is so where they are perpendicular to each other i am going to say this is my point a the point that they are talking about so i'll be like is that one you understand so this is the a they are talking about so I take my set squares so this is the set square we are using for for isometric isn't it so i draw a line from this point out of dimension as well i draw it to paint so how did i do it my t square against my drawing board or my drawing table so this set square has to flash along your what your t square isn't it so that's how i draw i draw it then this is angle 30 anti-clockwise you understand so it is fast and easier when you are using your set squares yes you can use your protractor but remember time consuming you understand? so these lines that i've drawn so far they're supposed to be drawn faint so now i come i bring back my question you understand so now if this is my front this is my right so this is supposed to be positioned on my right hand side. So the left is supposed to be on my, I mean, sorry, the front will be on my left hand side. This is third angle orthographic projection. So that's where majority of, of people, they will tend to, to miss it. Because you can draw it other way around. You'll be still correct. But did you follow the question? You understand? For instance, they say, this is top, this is front this is right so which means we are going to have a shape like this way at this direction this is my right view so this is going to be the portion for my left view so the left view it will be on my uh, 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 the front view it will be on my left hand side and so now right from point a coming this side I see a dimension of 100 millimeter you understand so now 100 millimeter from where 
from here. There is my 100 millimeter. From here till right there. Do you see that on top of a well recorded a, a line at an angle of 30, I can now draw a, 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 a dimension of 100. So we don't, we, assuming I want 100 from here till here. I will have to construct a line. Then on top of a constructed line, I can record the dimension. I cannot just record the dimension in the middle of nowhere. What if it's cute like this? What if it's cute like this? You understand? So from here, I can now say I have my 100 millimeter. So which is that one. Then after that, I can take this point faint, faint vertical. Then from there, let me get the what the height now from point P. I mean from point A going up. I see a dimension of what of ten millimeter. So which means I can record it right from here till right there. Ten millimeter. There it is. You understand? So now where my ten ends going up, I don't see any dimension. You understand? I don't see any dimension anymore so which means I can I can erase this one I don't need it anymore you understand so now I take this point if it was perspective I was going to say to my vanishing point of my right and vanishing point of my left but I will take it this is not perspective yet so faint like this and Paint like this okay so I cannot draw it that yet you understand so now it seems like I'm looking for a dimension from here till there remember your front view as well as your top view they will always share the same length because from here till here is length from here till here is height this is the top we do not I cannot say this is the height you understand because this is the top view we do not have a height in our top so if i i am looking for a dimension seems seems to be missing i can simply get it where on the other view which is my uh, uh, top view so i'm looking for a dimension from here till there so this one will correspond with this so it is better for us to come uh, along with it a right from this direction coming towards our point a you understand so which means if we're at this tent let's call, let's get to at this height from here till there was this height from here till there, the height of 30 is actually corresponding with what which that one there by your right view you understand so don't be like yeah the height is 50 millimeter then you come here you measure 50 millimeter going up like that you might have a a a challenge you understand so which means now I can get the height of 30 which is that one from here to there 30 millimeter mm. this one and I can draw it dark so this is the new point I'll take it to at an angle of 30 degrees clockwise faint for now Understand. So which one is this one? So is actually that one. So we've gotten this one from there till there. You understand? So from there till there. Now I see a line coming this side, and we are told to go to from there till there. So much is twenty-five millimeter. You understand? So towards my point A, twenty-five millimeter, and there is my twenty-five. Then I draw two. Zero. and I can draw it dark Anyone? then from there there's my 25 so that 25 do I have a line that is going vertically down like this a size that can go like this no we do not have we do not have that one so now what we can do seems to be not clear okay so now I see this line is still a feather going you understand till way till yeah because 
my 30 is ending, I mean my 25 is ending here. So where my 25 ends, there is a dimension of what? Of 15 millimeters. So from here to there, it's 15 millimeters. So let me mark where my 30 ends. Then 15 millimeter is right there and I draw. You understand? So uh, where my 15 millimeter ends now, I can see a vertical line going down. You understand? From there till there. So I can get it now. With that your favor, there it goes. So what was seems to be missing uh, or a, a challenge to get it this dimension from there till there is automatically out by itself. So I can just draw this one down now. From here to right there. Understand? So uh, I am forcing myself to get the shape, this shape at this portion. Understand? Then this shape at this portion. So, and I am uh, under. I must understand which it is. It has been viewed orthographically. So there are some other things that will or other points that will be a little bit back. We will confirm that way there by our top view you understand so now let's see what is going to happen now and uh, what can you do let's get now the what the the width or the breadth the width or the breadth so the set from here till there is 50 millimeter do you see from here till there is 50 millimeter because the right view and the top view they'll, they'll always share the same width understand if i don't see a dimension from here to here from here to here is not a length the length is that one so it's the breadth so from there till there is how much is this one from here till there and you are told what is how much is fifth you understand so i can come and get the 50 so which is that one and draw it dark so I cannot draw another 50 there, it's a waste of time. I'll just, just simply project this one. So from here till here is automatically 50. And I draw this one dark. You understand? So this one, this one is that one. This one is that one. You understand? So this one eh, is not a... A vertically going up we confirm that there by our what our right uh, our front view you understand so it's not vertically going up so so then how are we gonna deal with that let's come back to this point and this block is little bit back it's not actually in line or uh, uh, in the same uh, a level with what with this block this one is little bit back it, it take a closer look there by your two view. You understand? Then this one is this one. So this one is that one that is a little bit back. You understand? So now let's deal with it. How are we gonna draw it in, uh, 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 appearing clearly? Which indeed is a little bit back. So we are going to take this point at an angle of 30, and, uh, 30 degrees anti clockwise parallel to this one, isn't it? So this one. Faint, no? there you go and there you go so even if I can take this one this one I take it like this it's not going to give me anything it should be actually talking about the back view so that is why I'm just leaving it for now so this one it will be actually talking about the back view which it might appear in hidden what is the question they said do not dimension the drawing so uh, they will also even say do not show the hidden details you understand so they like to say that so now let's see if i have this one from here till there is how much from here till there is how much so this dimension that i'm pointing at is which one is this one from there till there from there till there okay we it seems to be a missing dimension leave it is going to come out by itself so which means let's go back actually you have to attack it in all 
ways in 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 every day uh, uh, corner you understand you see that i wanted to get the dimension from here till there but i seems to be not given from there till there i don't even have to calculate it okay 50 minus a uh, uh, minus 10 minus 25 which means is that one no i won't even stress myself doing that so i'll come back to what to this point I want to get these points at the back at the back now so that they will give me all this dimension that they seems to be missing you understand so now this is the what this is the height this 50 eh let me emphasize this this 50 eh, is different compared to this one this is the 50 height this is the 50 bright you understand so the from here till they state with the tolerated that but now I'm looking for that point which I can, if uh, 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 we were to uh, uh, trace it there by my uh, right view, it would be somewhere there. Trace it, trace it, look how do I trace it. So from here till there is that point that I'm looking for, you understand? Do you see how did I trace it? There it is, isn't it? So now to get this uh, 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 a point, I'll further extend my 30 millimeter with 20 so that 20 plus 30 is giving me 50 so there is my 50 and there is my zero understand so that point I'll just mark it like this for now and I construct it at this angle and at this angle as well there you go faint right so if I have this one now from the very same point going this direction, I can now record the, 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 what, the dimension of 50 millimeter. You understand? Which is the width. Which one? This one. From there till there. Remember, guys, we are busy with EGD grade 10. Engineering graphics and design grade 10. So our aim is to upload all of them. Everything that is actually here on the book. It's just a matter of time. Understand. So, where is my 50? There is my 50. So I cannot draw it dark till here because there is a, a, something that is happening here. So from here till there is that 50. Eh? So where my 50 ends to go back, the, the set major 25. From here till there is my 50. 50 go back with what? With 25. So there is my 50 ending, right? So I'm gonna go back with what with 25 millimeter. So from here till right there is my 25 millimeter. Understand? So this 25 millimeter is which one? Is this one from there till right there? Um, it's from there till right there. So then now I can take my my what to call my 30 millimeter ruler. Join this point with this one. So this line is not at an angle, it's out of angle. So somebody would be like, what angle was that one? So it's not at an angle. This support that is not at an angle, even this is not at an angle. So now what could be my next step? So now I'll take this point. Take this point faint you understand i want to get so this point eh, look at it this point this one is now that one a1 so to get this one which means again from here till there is the same as 25 isn't it 25 millimeter so if from here till there is my 25 then i come and record the same 25 right there so that this line that i'm about to draw will be parallel to this one so there you go you you understand then i can have this one dark now which one is this one is this one there by our trophy is this one hey one actually that one okay so now we are told Uti 
Oh, don't see the